Each year, $8 billion in gift cards go unused. And already in 2008, $100 million worth lost to store closings. So what's the best thing to do if you receive a gift card? We're joined by Christine Fritchen, Editor-in-Chief of ConsumerSearch.com. Good morning. Good morning and Merry Christmas. Okay, the most important piece of advice for people once they get a gift card is what? Do some research ahead of time. Figure out what you really want. The days after Christmas are crazy in stores. Mm -hmm. You know, the store, the shelves are cleared. People are making returns. Take a little time. Check online. See what you want. Right. ConsumerSearch.com is a great place to kind of research GPS and electronics. Sure. And then collect yourself, and then you can really get a good value for your card. The next piece of advice, and you've got lots of us here, check the terms on the gift card. We've done lots of consumer segments on this before, and some of them are outrageous. It's true. Now, the store cards, the, the brick and mortar you know, gift cards from Walmart and Target, those usually have no restriction, restrictions at all. They uh -huh. don't expire. There are no fees. The tricky ones are the bank cards, you know, the Visa gift card, the Amex gift card, the Discover card. Right. Those have fees that kick in typically after a year year and sometimes as much as two dollars and fifty cents per month so uh, so stinks I know it just eats away at your card value and you've yeah. got nothing left after a which while which works into your next piece of advice and you say use your cards post haste uh, 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 get get down to business and get using those things. absolutely the danger is forgetting about it and one in four people still have a gift card that they got in 2007 that they really? haven't used really yeah 25 <laughs> percent <laughs> and the stores are sitting there saying, this is the best thing we've ever done. Yeah, absolutely. Right. And, and well, by the way, they're wildly, wildly popular. Well, sure, it's a great gift because it's flexible and people feel a little bit better giving a gift card rather mm -hmm. than cash. But it's just very easy to forget about this little card that doesn't look like cash and you put it in a drawer and you forget about it. So spend it right away. And especially with all the retail craziness that's going on right now, stores The store closing. that you think you might be using it at could be gone six months from it now. It could be gone. I and mean, it's a little bleak, but... It, it is. It happens and you, to be the truth. Yeah, it happened to people with uh, the sharper image. People got stuck with lots of gift cards, linens and things. Right. Yeah, and there's no place to spend that gift card. So That stinks. Stuck. All right. Uh, can you use these things online typically? Yes, if it's a big store. You know, Pottery Barn, Williams Sonoma, Gap, um, Cabela's, Bass Pro Shops. Most of those gift cards can also be used online. Mm -hmm. And you want to also check sister stores. So, um, Pottery Barn, for example, you can also use that at Williams Sonoma, oh. which you might not think about. And are there ways to, I mean, other than buying things, can you get cash, for instance, if if you were sitting there with a card and say, I really don't want to buy anything, is there a way to get money for it? Well, there are websites that will buy your card. It depends on the store and how in demand that store is. Right. You can usually get 60 to 80 percent of the value for that card right. in cash. Right. Um, you could also try listing it at Craigslist, mm -hmm. selling it there, or eBay. There's a lot of gift cards on eBay. All right. Way to go. We like this. We like all of this information. Very good. Thank you very much. For more information, just go to our website. That's earlyshow.cbsnews.com.